If you have an Osmo Pocket or you're thinking about buying one, I think you're going to like this. In my opinion, this is the best aftermarket accessory you can get. It's designed and manufactured in Australia by Scotty from Scotty Makes Stuff and it was conceived to fulfill a need that many of us Osmo Pocket fans had. In fact, it solves several problems in one swoop because it's not just a protective case, but it opens a whole new world of possibilities. Okay, that sounded less cheesy in my head, but this case dramatically multiplies the usability and versatility of the Osmo Pocket. It's made from a 3D printed polymer and the layer lines have been left intact for a glossy finish. But if you prefer, you can easily sand the surface down for a smoother look. During development, this was nicknamed the TNO, which stood for the nuclear option. And when you see how thick and chunky this case is and how the lid works, that's gonna make a lot of sense. The gimbal protector completely encases the top of the camera and is secured in place with this chunky screw down ring, which has a secondary purpose that I'll show you in a bit. The lid itself is lined with a thin layer of soft furry material for added protection against scratches. The case is hinged and opens with a locking latch on the side and the inside has four strips made from what I'm guessing is TPU, which is a softer silicon-like material which, when the case is closed, completely surrounds the Osmo Pocket, so it never actually touches any hard plastic. And that's really smart. Keeping the Osmo Pocket isolated from the hard protective shell should, in theory, offer some degree of shock protection in the event of a drop. One of the best things about the case is that it's designed to fit the Osmo Pocket with the Wi-Fi adapter installed, so you never have to remove it, ever and it all fits in there snugly with no wiggle room at all. The latch clamps the bottom together and the ring secures the top. There's a chamfer just below the buttons so the plastic doesn't affect your access to those at all. In fact, it's not even easier to find them without looking. The touchscreen can still be used but it's a bit more fiddly to swipe across certain directions, like right to left or top to bottom, but it's still doable. There's a built-in sound pipe that goes from the back to the front, and that carries the sound to the bottom facing microphone, and the front facing mic is unobstructed. The Wi-Fi module protrudes front and back so the antenna isn't obstructed, and as if having a standard quarter inch threaded socket on the bottom wasn't useful enough, he stuck another four on there, giving you five attachment points. Well, this is the nuclear option after all. When it's time to put your Osmo away, the lid has an arrow to remind you to line it up with the lens, and it has this tongue and groove, so it can't rotate in your pocket or bag and cause damage. Then the ring screws on and locks everything down super tightly. And there's some real heft to this. It does make the Osmo Pocket significantly larger and heavier, but it does provide a much beefier grip. I absolutely love that the base is completely flat and broad enough to be used in place of a mini tripod. All you need is a table or a flat surface. I mentioned earlier that the ring isn't just for securing the lid. It's also there to act as a bumper. It sits out far enough that if your Osmo were to be knocked over, the gimbal won't impact the surface. And being 360 degrees, it doesn't matter which direction it falls. Once you put your Osmo in this case, it literally never has to come out again. You'll have to unlatch the front to get to the memory card, but that's it. You can charge it in the case, and it even sits upright while charging. And with quarter inch sockets all over the place, you can pop it on a tripod and add accessories like a phone holder for filming yourself, or expand it into a fully equipped handheld run and gun stabilized camera rig 
that's smaller and lighter than any other option I can think of. I have to hand it to the designer. This is something really special. It solves so many problems and adds so many options for expansion while providing a ridiculous amount of protection. I'd like to thank Scotty for sending me a sample unit to test. And if you want to buy your own one of these or see his other Osmo Pocket accessories, I'll leave a link to his website in the description. It's always good to support independent creators like this because sometimes they make amazing things like this one. The only problem is, since I got this case, most of the accessories I bought or made for my Osmo Pocket are now completely useless. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.